how to make low poly anime characters inside of Blender. Let's go. Okay, so first off, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna input my reference image. So I'm just gonna go into front view and then I'm gonna add in my reference image. I'll link it down below if you want it. So I'm just gonna go at the top right and then I'm gonna go open. I'm gonna change the image editor, open. I'm gonna grab this reference random. So I'll just grab this at Google. Um, not sure what it's from, but yeah. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna go add it. And I'm also gonna import a reference image that I have uh, just a pretty good base to kind of base my character on. So this is what I'm gonna be using as the like kind of proportions and stuff for my character. So just go shift a image reference and I'm gonna change the opacity of it, line it up like this. And then I can start modeling. So I'm gonna scale this cube down all the way. Drag it up, line it up like this to the top. So I'm gonna to add an edge loop down the middle, or you can just go N, edit auto mirror. You have to have the add on enabled to just go edit preferences, add ons, and auto mirror. It's built in the blender. Uh, just like, and it's just a quicker way of adding the mirror. So you kind of just wanna trace like the outline of the character. And we're gonna go side view, drag this image back, and then go to top view, duplicate it, RZ90 and the GY and drag it forward. Okay, so you can just follow the shape of the character and I'm gonna extrude out like this and then join it. Delete these face, delete this face on the inside and join these. Select this front face, go to modifiers, turn off clipping. Cause you wanna make sure you have clipping on earlier and then turn off clipping and then now we can extrude the legs out like this. Go SZ0 and then you can scale down. We can just line it up on the side view. Okay, cool. So this is looking pretty good. Cool. And then I'm just gonna add a edge loop down the side like this. So maybe you have to do it like twice. And then, so you see like this. And then we just go use a knife tool to carry it on. Like that, okay. And then you can Alt S. Uh, turn clipping back on. Uh, let's recalculate the normal to shift N. See if that helps. Okay, cool. So yeah, I see Alt S works properly. Just rounding everything out. And then if you need to fix it, you can just edge start like this. I'm gonna add another edge loop over here. Cool. And then I wanna make these shoulders slightly smaller. Just still not on top view. Probably have to round out this part as well. Cool, and then I'm gonna select these faces, or actually we can just change the shape of this one and extrude that out. This is for the arms. I'm gonna SX0 to flatten it out. There, so we're gonna go add edge loops. SX0 again. And we can kind of just start to find the arms. If we want for the side reference, we so we can do it there. Let's drag this back. I don't know, arms looking kind of weird, but whatever. Maybe it's because of the. Okay, cool. And then it's going to be for the neck. So we can actually just go select this, Control B and V, like this. And we can extrude up. I'm going to add a skin texture. So I'm just going to go to materials, skin color and then add subsurface. You don't need to do that, but I just like it more. Uh, shoulders still look kind. Maybe if we, probably help if we had it rounded out a bit. I'm gonna save my file clear. Okay. So let's just go add the face and then the hands and feed quickly. Cool, so go shift A, add in a cube. Scale down, it's gonna be for the head. And then you can go control one to subdivide it and scale it to fit the head. So we're gonna apply the subdivision and then S X. And then we're gonna mirror this again. So go to so the same auto mirror or just delete the left half and then mirror it over with the mirror modifier. So this is gonna be for the face. So let's go extrude this down. Could probably even join these two together. So M and pi. Lost, and then I'm going to turn on vertex snapping over here. 
go G control, put it over there. And then you can delete this face and then join these two together. Uh, scale this down slightly. His arms are still scuffed, but whatever. Scale up a bit. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And then let's see if we can join these together. Okay, that doesn't look good. If we join that together, that's looking okay. And then we just work on the hands and feet now. Cool. So let's go add in. We can either just make it separately or together. Uh, firstly, this is clipping, so I'm just going to move these out a bit. I'm going to select this face and then scale Z. And then it's going to be S bar 0. S bar 0. Okay. And then this is going to be for like the thumb. And then I'm going to bevel this one. So this control B to bevel. So we can round it out. This part's going to be to extrude the thumb out of like that okay and then this is for the fingers let's add etchy to round it out cool and then for the feet let's go side view extrude said okay and then we're going to drive these down and then like that so the feet look kind of scuffed. So it's going to select it all, control R and H, and you're going to bottom view, and then shape the foot. Don't worry, feet always look weird, but I kind don't of have to get the right shape. And then it also come, sometimes help to just like rotate them. That, cool. Thanks for watching. This has been part one, making the characters base. In part two, we are going to be carrying on with this. So click over here if it's up and if not, uh, check the description.